that of these people are... It's almost assumed by now that the rich and the famous can get away with what they want. But Justice Khan, what's very worrying and the alarming thing about our expose is that very simple people with not much money, petty criminals too, seem to be able to subvert the system with just a few thousand rupees. No, anybody can uh, do that. There is a scope for such kind of a subversion. But uh, for me, or um, it's not a. This is not the whole problem. See, for me, the problem is that whole criminal law justice system is getting. There's a breakdown of that system. It's about to collapse, and a rot has set in. This is only a tip in the iceberg. Mm -hmm. If you see the whole scenario, you will find that um, the whole system is uh, breaking down at one point or the other. Now, as I was telling Mr. Pereira, that, see, the whole thing starts from the investigation. We don't have an independent, impartial, trained investigating agency. So, what do you get in the investigation? In murder cases, you will find a constable goes and he records statements of this, this, that, and makes people to give their thumb and impression on that. And then if you go to the prosecution agency, what does that prosecution agency do? For years and years on, a witness is not being produced before the court, and by the time a witness is ultimately produced, he doesn't remember things, or he must have been already uh, tampered with that evidence, influenced. And then comes the lethargy of the court. Now the court will also go on giving dates and dates and dates and dates and dates and there is no assertive judging where a prosecution agency is pinned down that you produce your evidence and finish the trial of this case at a particular point of time or within a time frame. Now court system on its own has its own problems, it is so much burdened that even if one wants to, to do that, you can't finish those trials in time. That's why you find, you must have found in Ruchika's case, all media made such a human crime. Why did it take 19 years? There are cases which are pending for 20 years, 19 years, which normally should not have taken that time. So the need of the time, if we have to reform, if we have to rescue the criminal justice system in this country, first thing that is to be done is that we must create, establish an independent investigating agency and an independent prosecution agency. Till you do that, all these things are bound to happen at one level or the other. Today it's happening at forensic laboratory. Before that it's happening with the investigating agency. Third time it will happen at the prosecution agency. And ultimately fourth time also to a fraction of the court system. That's a very, very important point you're making. It's as frank an admission as you can get from a former Chief Justice, a man who spent a large part of his life inside the judicial system. Mr. Maxwell Parada, one of the most important points that Justice Khan makes is that the people who are sent to pick up these forensic samples, the cops, the constables on the job who are the first people to arrive at a crime scene, are simply not equipped to pick up the right sample, to pick them up in a scientific fashion, which makes the job of prosecution and later the job of the judiciary that much tougher. Uh, I'm afraid uh, Justice Khan has uh, spoken from his experience, perhaps, of cases that have come up in his court. Uh, I think I would like to correct the perception of your viewers on this. Uh, not necessarily um, everywhere in the country it's the constable that goes and does it. There are specialized teams. There is a crime inspection team. Practically every metropolis and every single, uh, you know, advanced investigation uh, units which are there in um, most police stations, they are the ones who are uh, given this task. Uh, the what we call the crime team. In Delhi there are crime teams which go to the spot and uh, they are all trained people. They are the ones who are trained in forensics to, to lift a fingerprint or to lift clues or to lift a uh, sample, you know, whatever. All these things are there. It's not that you know we can't sweep the whole uh, system with the one saying that a constable goes and picks up. Uh, I'm sure in some rural areas these kind of things happen. Still, uh, there is a lot of improvement that is needed in the police forces across the country. 
but at the same time it finally boils down again to the police reforms like uh, Justice Al Khan also emphasized until and unless there is an independent investigating agency uh, and an agency that is committed to prosecution and not just like that it is you know in the hands of anyone and everyone it's all the cogs in the wheel that make the you know or all the parts in the watch that make you make uh, give the correct time and uh, that's how if even one part goes wrong then the criminal justice system just collapses.